Hello beauties, this is Wang Lee with Two Chic Chicks. Today's video is going to be on my Lueve. I bought this handbag back in the summer of last year. And I have been just loving this handbag. I do not for one regret purchasing this handbag. I love it so much, even in its color. Well today, I am coming with a video to just update you on what I'm thinking about this handbag still, which I just told you, <laughs> and what fits in my handbag or what I carry in my handbag when I'm carrying it, and the um, a couple of different ways you can carry the handbag, because it's a different few ways you can carry this handbag. So I do want to bring that to you. So with further ado, let's go ahead and get started in this video. Welcome those. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for coming and stopping by. My name is Wanga Lee and I am with Two Chic Chicks. Um, I do videos once a week here on my channel and if this is your first time and you like what you uh, watch today, please do me a favor and go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell right next to it so you can be notified of all new videos that I upload. And if you have been here multiple times and you have not subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Please come on and join me. And for all those who have been with me for a while and are returning, thank you so much for taking the time out today to enjoy my video today. So now that I got all that out the way, let's get started with this video. All right, so let me refresh your memory on my handbag. Now, this handbag that I purchased, which I said is the Louis um, Lueve puzzle bag. Well, if you have watched the video before, which I will definitely link somewhere up here for you, I bought my dupe. Yes, I did. I bought a dupe of this Lueve handbag and ended up purchasing the designer version. That's how much I loved it. And I didn't just purchase the puzzle bag, I purchased it in the same color that I got the dupe in. So I was just loving it all the way around. <laughs> but just to let's refresh ourselves, this is it right here. This is a size medium. The color, if I'm not mistaken, is a stone blue. It is gorgeous. I love this handbag and I love everything about this handbag, okay? Everything. I love that it has feet on it, everything. It has been one of my best purchases. Now, a lot of people was asking me about the styling of it. Oh, it doesn't look like the color will be easy to style with different um, things. I treat it as a neutral, love it. I carry it with any and everything I wear. I wear a lot of denim, I'm heavy. <laughs> I love a lot of denim, so I wear a lot of denim, I wear a lot of black, all black, <laughs> and so it fits in my wardrobe with no problem. It works with everything I have thus far. So today I will definitely show you what all I carry in it when I carry it and what fits in it. Now one thing I don't do, I don't put too much in here. I try, I have limited a lot of things because <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm getting a little mature, and carrying a heavy bag is not my thing anymore. And putting everything in there from the kitchen sink up in a bag don't work for me anymore. So I carry very limited things these days up in my handbag. So let me just get started. So when I am, when I'm not carrying it, I um, keep it in this dust bag, but I also keep it stuffed. I like to keep my stuff. Now, you can um, fold this handbag down. I choose not to fold it down. I choose to wear it, um, to keep it stored with um, paper stuffed in it and in this dust bag. I do not put it in the box. I just keep it in the dust bag so it don't get too dusty while it's sitting on the shelf. So, yeah. So here we go. So that's that. 
And if you notice back here, it has a D ring on it. So this D ring is definitely a reason for this D ring is to be able to let you carry it in a couple of different ways. So I'm gonna show you a few different ways that you can carry this handbag today too. And it definitely comes with a strap. Let's not forget the strap. Now for me, it has been easy to keep clean. I haven't had a problem with that. Um, the leather is wonderful. It's so soft. And it doesn't, um, it's very durable. I don't know what type of leather they call it. It's not exactly, it's not smooth by no means. It's not a smooth leather. You open it up right here and this is how you get into it it has a very nice lovely zipper now the opening is not that wide but that doesn't bother me at all not at all pretty much what I carry on an everyday basis is in here this is what I've been carrying this week so far back and forth to work and this handbag is an Antonio Malini and I got this from Dillard's it has to be at least six seven years old if not longer but yeah and this has like a little I don't know if that's like a calves well like a little hair like mohawk or something type of little hair on it and then it has leather right here and it's almost like an ox blood I think I'm washing it out too much it's like an ox blood so that's what I've been carrying so far this week I ran across it I forgot I even had it so I started carrying it this week get a little carry in before winter is over because I just work carry this one as a winter hand fall and winter handbag okay so let's begin so first of all I'm gonna start with my little makeup pouches little pouch my daughter bought me it says on here hello lovely <laughs> lovely is my tag you ask me how I'm doing I'm always say lovely sometimes depends on when you catch me most of the time I'm gonna say I'm lovely <laughs> but this is my little makeup um, cosmetic little pouch I'm carrying right now and it has hand lotion in it quite a few um, lip glosses in here that's a little gloss a red gloss this is from Estee Lauder this one is Fenty Beauty minted oh my gosh I finally found the lip gloss I love it's by minted this color is called mauve Mauve over. I, I'm putting it on top of something I already have on. Bye, Minty. <laughs> I don't know which one I have on. But I love this lip gloss. Ooh. I don't know if you can see it real good because I think I'm washing it out. You see it? Mm -hmm. I am in love with this lip gloss. Ooh, a little liner in this goes a long way so yeah that's in here now this is by Fenty I would say I'm not the biggest fan of this little gloss it's messy that's what I'm not a big fan of it's really messy then I have a EOS um, lip balm in here and it's basically lipsticks and a for dry eyes because I have ooh, real bad dry eyes and a couple of more minted lipsticks in here. So that's what's in here, basically just some lipsticks and lip glosses. So I'ma stick that in here. Then we're gonna move on over to my wallet I'm carrying of choice right now. It is my coach wallet right here. Has a back pocket and these are all receipts. <laughs> these are receipts I've been, you know, I gotta clean it out until then. That's that. So I'm gonna put that on in here. That fits real nice and easy. Um, this is my case for my dental work. So I put that in there. Then I have a bigger hand lotion. This is from um, Bath and Body Works right here. This is at the beach. It's okay, it was on there. Um, think like 75% off and I just sometimes get stuff to throw in my handbag so I can have some lotion you know for my hands so that's a hand cream 
And then my trusty keys to my car. Put that in. And then let's see where we at. My ear, um, earbuds from um, Apple, my Apple earbuds. Mints, can't do nothing without some mints, girl. You need that. And then, right now, I'm carrying this coupon in here 20 bucks. <laughs> this is for, um, what's the name? Um, Ralph Lauren, the polo um, store. And it's at the um, outlet. It's the outlet one. So I've been holding on to this one. I love to go in there and get like a few sweaters and stuff, depending on what season it is and stuff. So I get a few things out of there. Oh, and then just so happened, I am carrying money, which is not in the wallet. It was in the in my um, one of my pockets. And then my sunglasses. Sunglasses of choice today are my Celine's. Is what I've been carrying and wearing. Let's see. Oh, girl, your future looks so bright. They don't think you got to put sunglasses on. I love these sunglasses. Now, I'm going to tell you, they are just a little heavy. They slide quite a bit, too. So, you know, but they're not too bad. I really like these. These are Celine's. So, I really love those. Okay, so we'll put this inside my bag. Let me not forget my phone right now. I'm carrying the, um, the Apple 11, what is it, Max Pro? Yeah, 11 Max Pro. So I'm gonna put my phone in here. Got to have my phone. That is everything inside my handbag. Right there. It doesn't take much. To get everything in there and then there's still quite a bit of room and it's not heavy that's my thing I don't want to carry anything that's gonna weigh me down and make it too heavy so that is more than enough now the handbag itself is light so the weight definitely comes in from the items that I put into my handbag so that's no problem right there so the weight of the handbag no problem but what you put in it makes it a problem. <laughs> okay, so I'm now gonna go ahead and I'm gonna close her up. And we're gonna talk a little bit about her and how she has been holding up. Well, I really have been enjoying it. Like I said, I carry her like she's a neutral. And um, the color is beautiful to me. Now get a chance would I buy another one yes I would with no problem I would love to have another handbag by um, another puzzle bag now I have saw I before I wanted well no I wanted this first but then I have been looking at that beach bag and it's the um, the big straw tote and it has a leather patch in the front of it and then it, you carry it by two leather handles I love that I don't know if it's really practical. I guess if you got it in a medium, but I would prefer to have it as a large because I would love to have it as a beach bag and to just be able to carry a, quite a few things in and just, you know, carry it during the summer with an outfit, you know, in the city and stuff. But my problem is if I wanted to travel with it, would it be usable to travel? If I was on a plane, you couldn't put it up under the seat in front of you. You would have to put it in the overhead. And when you put it in, I guess if you brought another like bag to put in it to you know, secure your things so they don't tumble out of it, that would be good. But I don't know if it's really reasonable for the price. Right now, the large is running like $5.90 on that handbag. So I don't know. I don't know if it's really worth me and it's, it's a seasonal handbag definitely a seasonal handbag and I have been working hard to do more of having multiple functional pieces so that means I can use this handbag more than one way and multiple seasons not just for a season 
and for me that bag is pretty much for a season so I don't know if you know a whirlwind come in maybe I might go ahead and get the bag but if not I don't think I'll be missing too much on it but I really do like the bag that's the problem now if they I could find it in they have it they have it um with the I guess like the um I don't know what color. I guess it's like a cognac type of color is what the strap is. But they have one where the strap is black with the black um, patch with the Loewe, um logo on the front. Uh, if I find it in that black, i probably just go ahead and take that plunge, girl. I'll take the plunge. I'll take the plunge. So, but until then, I don't know. So, I do love the, um, the handbags by Loewe. I would definitely, yes, tell anyone, if you're thinking about this, definitely take the plunge. Now, like I said, this is a medium, and they have uh, a size above this, which is a large, then they have the small, then they have a mini. Now, the mini and the small, I don't know now. I'm gonna be honest, y'all. That don't, the mini and the small wouldn't work for me. The large wouldn't work for me because it's way too big. It's just like, it looks to me like luggage at that point. You know, it really looks like a piece of luggage, the large one. But I do enjoy this one. I, I guess you can just say, I love it, I love it, I love it. Yes, I do. And like I said, the leather feels good. Um, there's, I have no complaints about the handbag. It has been one of the best luxury pieces at this point I have bought. I said one of now. <laughs> one of. <laughs> this is pretty much how I carry my bag every when I carry my bag, most of the time I'm just carrying it top handle. I love it top handle. Now what I like about this handbag is that it molds some. So let me turn this down. I think I am washing it out. There it go. <clears throat> so it will mold to, um, it kind of falls down in the middle right here, which is fine by me. And most of the time, like I said, I carry it top handle. Now what I do, one of the features I do like is that this piece right here covers your zipper. So it's this piece, then it's your zipper, then you zip in your bag and go in it. Now I forgot to mention, there is a back pocket on here. I cannot fit my cell phone in here, so <laughs> which would have been nice, but I cannot fit my cell phone in here. So what I do is I'll put like, if I got a little money or if I'm having a card or something that I'm reaching in that little console or something, something that's, you know, I'm not, you know, reaching for too often, I'll put back there. Now, if I'm not carrying a top hand, well, I am carrying a top hand, you know, I will, if I'm doing like my clutch little deal, put it up under my arm and it still works. No problem, it is just, I'm six feet, so for reference here, so it does not bother me. You know, watching them carry that Bottega bag made me think about, I'm like, oh shoot, I could just stick my little wave up under my arm and get the same feel and vibe. I have walked around with it like this before, where I just slide my hand in like that and, and just carry it. You know, you had that Dior handbag. Which one is it? Um, I can't think of the name of it, but yeah. And I'll carry it like this sometimes. So I do a lot of carrying it without the, sh the longer strap on it. That's just my favorite way of carrying it. Now, for the strap, let me get the strap. And with this strap, I don't know if I have shown you guys, it is adjustable. It has how many on here? One, two, three um, places where you can, different levels of how you can have your strap. So it have different ways of falling on your body. So it's quick to snap on. And when I'm out and about, I pretty much um, keep my, um, I always have the strap with me. So this is the strap. This is, this is it on the longest. Um, level right here for me that's too long like I told you I'm six feet so you can use me as reference and that's cutting me like a little above my mid thigh but it's all over if I take it to the back you'll see it covers comes right up under the butt 
So for me, this would be too long to keep it on this level, the strap on this level. But at this level, guess what we can go ahead and do? Wear a cross body, which when I want to go hands free, this is how I pretty much carry it. I love carrying a cross body. So now let's take it a couple of levels shorter. So I'm gonna put it on the shortest level, which is down here. What I'm doing is I'm shortening up the strap. If you see, it just goes on over. And I'm putting it here on this, on this one. It just snaps in, that's all it does is snap in. Okay, now, this is it on its shortest strap. And that's it right there. Which is, for me, more comfortable. And there go my little tassel hanging out. <laughs> but for me, this is, if I want to really carry it as a shoulder bag, this would be pretty much my um, length I would go to. I will put it on the shortest. Again, I'm six feet. It comes right here above my, a little bit above my hip bone. So that's where we're at now. Nice little length to have it. What I'm gonna do now is I'm, I'm going to um, show you it as they said you can wear it as a backpack, believe it or not. That's what this D-ring is back here for. It's hard doing this and you don't have nothing to sit it on. Okay, so now I'm gonna put it on my body as a backpack. I think I might have it too short. There we go. So that's me carrying it as a backpack. It's a caution like that. Would I carry it like this? No, I have no reason <laughs> to carry it like this. None at all. And this is it from the front. So yeah, nice and hands free. Nice little backpack, but it is a cool little look. Especially how they carry the backpacks and stuff now. There it is to the front. Now that's on the second longest strap there and it's more comfortable like that for me because I do have breasts if I wanted to wear it like that I would have to do it like that just so I don't look like much right there <laughs> I guess I'm trying to say but yeah then you get tired guess what you do flip it to the back and it's the same let's see what happens if I was to put both pieces onto the D-ring. So now, which I definitely don't think this is I'll probably put it back on the shorter length because that takes it upside down. But it makes your purse long ways. Hmm. Would I wear it like that? Hmm. Not. So we can put it on the same and do it like that. You can probably make it shorter and it would look a lot better if I had it shorter doing it like that. Okay, so now it is on its shortest, as short as it could go. Okay, so that's a shorter way. If you just wanted to do something different. For me, carrying it like this probably wouldn't be an option because I wouldn't want all my things sliding to the side like that. But I like it better shorter like that if I was gonna try that. Those are the ways that I have found to carry my Loewe puzzle bag. And I'm gonna tell you, if you thinking about getting this bag, I would definitely just get the handbag. It is a beautiful handbag. You can carry it with this strap on it. 
and just carry it like top handle too. Put it back. I love it. It's multifunctional and I love multifunctional. That's the end of my video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope I gave you some good insight on this Lueve puzzle bag. So if you're thinking about it, I would definitely tell you yes, yes, yes. Okay, it comes in several different colors. It comes in several different um, color patterns together. You can get it in suede, you can get leather and suede. You can get pink, purple, orange. You know, it comes in so many things. It comes in chevron. It is such a beautiful handbag. Well, that's the end of my video for today. I would like to thank you guys for watching. And if you have not so far, please go ahead and subscribe. Please don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. What each like shows YouTube is you all are really enjoying the content, not just watching, but you ex actually really enjoy the content when you click like and if you leave a comment that helps also so would you please go ahead and click that like and leave me a comment down below i look forward to seeing you guys in the next video bye bye